That's how you save your pennies. Look at that. Your loads are dead. You chop and you freeze. Hello, happy homemakers. Um, for any of you who don't know, I'm Sarah Jane from Dublin in Ireland and I'm a mammy and I love cooking and stretching a penny. I apologise in advance if my editing skills aren't really great. Um, hopefully they'll get better with time. I just, I really like to help. I love to cook and people who eat my food think it's marvellous. So I'd be delighted with my life. So first today we're going to do my mac and cheese. Delicious, not as unhealthy. It's actually quite healthy. It's okay, and uh, it spreads. It literally you get loads over for a little or nothing. Um, mac and cheese in a bag of pasta is a euro. It's a euro. Packet of soup, a euro. A block of cheese or a bag of grated cheese is two euros, and an onion, and a packet of bacon. So you're talking five, six quid, and it'll feed. Everybody in my house, which is five, and I still have more left over. So we're going to do that today. Um, I went to, because I forgot to get me vegetables in my shop last week. That shopping actually does me for the month. And I just pick up little bits, like weekly fridge shopping, kind of weekly. So like a packet of ham, or I'll go and buy the ham out of the deli counter and I'll freeze it for lunches because I do prefer it than packets of ham but some people do that's okay um blocks of cheese vegetables things like that Lidl's had their veg on sale this week so I went up and I purchased like 10 euros 12 euros worth of veg and fruit because I love my banana bread my banana bread goes a long way so we got bring us over here as you can see so I got two bags of onions. The onions were 59 cents each. Literally 59 cents each. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop and freeze a bag. I'm gonna chop and cook and freeze a bag, right? They also had the fun size bananas on sale. They were, I think they were 69 or 79 pence. I need those like six in them. So I'm going to use, I, I only got two, I didn't want to be greedy. So there's two there. So I'm going to make up banana muffins for the kids' school lunches. Look at her, she's like Holly Mary. Um, I got four little bags of these, these are 49 pence each. My mini paprika mix. I should have given it to me because I called her Holy Mary. Well, I will now in a minute, right? So I got four bags of these. These were 39 pence each. These are great for stuffing. They're also great for um, roasting and put a bit of fat cheese in them. They're also great for soups or chopping up into different dishes and stir fries and stuff like that. So I'm going to chop and I'm going to divide each bag into each recipe and put them in the freezer. Also, they had the broccoli on for 49 pence. Who doesn't love some broccoli? So I'm gonna chop and freeze four things of these. I thought when I was looking on the app that it was the big bags of carrots, but it was the mini carrots, which is even better, right? I love these, these are great. So I think I got six bags of these. These were 29 pence each, right? So I am going to pickle two or three jars of the mini carrots, and then I'm gonna chop, actually I'm not gonna chop them up. I'm actually gonna leave them whole. I'm just gonna peel them. And then I'm going to put spices and oils on them and then I'm going to bag them for when we have like a nice dinner like with chicken kiev or uh, crispy chicken or everything's with chicken. We love the chicken. But you know like when you have um, like sort of fried chicken or stuff like that to have those on the side in there. I'll put them in the oven and roast them. Delicious, right? I know you see more behind me but that's just the extra I got. So all of this together. Hang on. All of that together, including my pickled onions, right? And um, those, I have my tomatoes and my mini cucumbers. Came to about 14 euros. The only things that were expensive were these two. 
because I like making me salad stuff out of it. Now that's a lot of stuff and that'll do me for the month and if I see something else on special I'll go and get it, right? Um, yeah, so we're going to make some mac and cheese. The ingredients is mac, which is the pasta itself, and you boil it for a couple of minutes. I put a chicken stock, I put chicken stock cube in everything. So I put chicken stock cube in it, I boiled it up, then swirled it around, and I rinsed it in cold water, complete in the utter. Cold water, rinsed it through, let it go cold, strain it off, and then we're going to make up the soup, grate some cheese. Fry some onions, fry some bacon, and then we're going to add it all up. Put a little bit of breadcrumbs on top if you have breadcrumbs. And it's going to be delicious and it's going to last. And the kids will want bowl after bowl after bowl. So this is dinner and tea time food. Let's go. Don't panic. I literally boiled the pasta. This is called mac pasta. With the little holes, I think I meant to drop them. So. Dog, here's the pan you. That's the pasta. Um, so I boiled it and I rinsed it off so it's thoroughly cold. So I'm going to strain this in a while. I'll strain it in a while. There's no rush on it. Is there really? No, there's not. So, and then I have a packet of chicken soup, thick chicken soup. So instead of making it, it says on the packet, blah, 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 850 ml, a pint and a half of cold water and stir constantly, right? But it won't be as thick as you need it. So put only like three quarters of a pint of water in. So it's really thick. And then we're gonna add our cheeses to the soup. That's simple. That is as simple as it. And then we're gonna add that sauce to the pasta and then we're going to fry off some bacon fry off some onions and that'll top it all off so i'm going to fry off some bacon what do i have in my fridge it's always something nice well we have chorizo as well actually no i'll do chicken and chorizo another day so i have lean bacon pieces Lean bacon. When has anybody ever eaten lean bacon? Well, well done. Just bacon. And then I have some smoked pancetta. So I'm going to use all the lean bacon and a bit of the pancetta because my bias eats a lot. Eats, eat, eat a lot. We're going to turn it on. Turn on the oven. I'm going to put it on six high pan need any oil because of the bacon well not the lean bacon it, we'll put this in first because then it'll oil the pan for the lean bacon that's so funny I think these are like 2 euro 2.19 for the double pack of the smoked pancetta flop and there it is I'm going to use all Molly's bacon. I'll do half. Because then she can have some. I don't know why they say peel here. Peel here. Oh, that. Half the time it does not work. It doesn't for me in any case. I had to touch that. I wash my hands now. I only had to do a little bit of cleaning this morning. I did it last night. Scrub it up, dip. And I know, like, my editing skills aren't great. I know that much. I'm trying. 
I don't know how to use YouTube. I was just told by friends and family that I need to go onto the L YouTube YOLO and do me recipes because I can spread a pretty, a pretty penny. There you go. So we're going to fry off the bacon version. Loads of bacon. On a high heat. Just put it on a high heat so it's all crispy. And then you can take it off, put it separate, and then fry off your onions with a bit of butter. And then put that separate. And while we're here, we're going to strain this pasta. Oh, sorry, right, something. the kids make all the noise but I am today Friday so it's in the cold water you could do this like the night before and then just add it all together and like make a tray bake out of it so I'm going to strain all this off with my big strainer the mat is all over the shop all right in you go Because it has loads of little coils in it, so like all the water will sit inside the coil. I'll show you now in a minute. If I had so much to do the camera, you could all follow me. But I love to cook, so this is how I do it. When I get Americanized, then I can. Because Americans are great. I, I follow loads of people on YouTube. Um, I love the Mennonite cookings, I love how they store things, um, I follow a few couples, do you know what I mean? I hope that didn't pop up now on Facebook, my husband just messaged me <laughs> Um, So there you go, see look this, this is why you need to strain thoroughly. Where's my camera? Oh there, yeah, there we go, see? Big hole. So leave that there, do this. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to chop some onions. I'm going to fry that off and then uh, we'll do the soup loops so you can watch my uh, bacon fry and I'm going to let my husband in he says will you move the car love? You still have that fried flavour off, them, right? And then um, you get a packet of chicken soup. Doesn't matter what chicken soup, cake chicken soup, normal chicken soup, a can of chicken soup. I only have the packet. The eyes are walked when after chopping all them onions and these goggles or something. So I'm gonna put. I'm not even gonna put much water in it. I'll add water as I need it to be as thick as I want it to be. So probably, maybe I get a measuring this, might be more helpful. Ah, there we go. So let me see. about 200 ml of water in the duck, right? On the packet it has a pint and a half of water. That's for like if you're doing two for a family. 
So I'll start with 200 ml. I'll keep the other 100. If it gets too thick, I'll add that because you're going to be adding cheese and stuff. And then you're just going to put it on the hob. As you can see, I'm going to move it all the way over here. You can see everything here. So I'll put it on high for two minutes. And then lower it down and just let it tick in. Give it a good stir. I mean, if you want to make a roux and make your own cheese sauce, I just think the chicken soup adds just a nice amount of flavour. You know, said a loaded, 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 loaded. I just could never take to the boxes of mac and cheese. So, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them, other people like them. But I find you buy the mac, you get like a ton out of it. Like, I mean, that's, that's the big pot I got in, in Dunn's for 20 euros. I don't even know how many you eat yourself. Oh, well, like a portion. That's going to feed more than five people. And you're not even putting a lump of meat in it. It's just onion, a bit of bacon, a bit of soup and cheese, and a bit of mac. The da bad daddy mac pasta. Stir the onion. Stir that. So when they're all done, I'm going to add it all together. So I wait for the soup chickens and then I'll add all the cheese. So I have. What's the gap? We'll put mozzarella on top of it. And a bit of Philadelphia. I will remove all the veg. That'll be another video for chopping and freezing and prepping. But I will throw that up tomorrow or something. Because it saves a pretty penny. Literally, it saves a pretty penny. This is just... Smells delicious. My eyeballs are stinging me over. Like seriously. So I'm going to break, this is all, I got, oh look at this, 220, the large bag of mozzarella in the box, we're doing the XXX, XXL on the mozzarella, the greatest stuff, love it, so I'm going to add that on top, I didn't have that this morning, I got that this morning as well, sorry, 16 euros in it this morning, forgot all about that, they're starting to soften up a bit, because they're on a high heat. So when they start puffing on me, then I'll add a bit of butter and the flour all the way down. So I'm going to move my compost and show you a little bin. Move up all the veg. Get me tie out. Because this is what you're going to be adding into the soup. Right? The soup's already boiling. Move the tray. Fix the bowl. Okay, so this is me gadget. My husband bought it for me. And it has like three little pieces. And you can grate your cheese. Pop! Great it is. So I'm going to chop this in half. Do a turnable cheese. Special boy yesterday. And then I'm going to chop it into four little cubes. I'm going to put that whole lot into the chicken soup. I find I was rushing with the time lapses and I was a bit all over the shop so I'm hoping you're taking time and if you want to watch the video you can watch the video and I'll do a few little time lapses and that'll do it. So this will show you how great this is. If your hands hurt or you just couldn't be arsed waiting some cheese and you want to save a few bob as well by buying a big block of cheese. This is like, here we go, look at that. I'm going to tie it. The only thing in now is I need to get a food processor. I love it. See the candle ones. The big one it has the chopping thing on top of it. It has the extra bowl for blending. Just brilliant. So, great the other cheese up. Here we go. All done. I just put a little bit in there, just shake it off, and it comes out. Loads of cheese. Oh, 
and my soup is doing its own thing here. Let me show you. My so that's gone really thick. Look, the bits in the bottom take it off. Splash myself with it. I'll lower that down. The fork comes it's absolute disaster. Multitasking is not uh, one of my um what's it called? What's the word called? What's the word called, Kevin? Uh-huh. What's the word called? Uh-huh. Like I said multitasking is not one of my best not my forte there, that's making it look I'm gonna have that other hundred mils of water. Jewish ranch. Put it back on to a very low heat, like number two. Let you get a bigger whisk. This is my hot chocolate whisk. This is a better whisk. So that's a good look for me now. There we go. Chicken a la soup a la mess. You now mess can always be cleaned up and if you don't want to clean it up on that day, you can clean it up the next day. I'll just do a bit at a time, whatever you feel like doing it's Friday. Not much to do in any here. And this like literally stretches. You have loads left, but like if you did this and rinsed off your pasta and you wanted to freeze four cups for your dinner throughout the week, you could do that. You know? So I'm going to let these fry. Let the soup boil. Add the cheese to the soup. I also have a little, just whatever you have. I have a little pod of Philadelphia cheese. I get them in a four pack. I'll add that in as well. And then when it's uh, cooked down, I'll just add it all together. In a big tray. Bake it in the oven, put it on for about half an hour with the mozzarella cheese on top or the parmesan or whatever you want to put on top it, pop a bit of breadcrumbs. It's whatever you have on hand, don't be going out and buying loads of stuff that you don't need if you have it inside your house already. Right? Do you know what else we don't have chicken noodle soup is great? Chicken gravy, turkey gravy. Add that, your bit of cheese, I'm telling you, it, it just works. You just have to experiment, right? So I have a bit of butter. Stir the soup. You always have to keep an eye on packets of soup. Because they literally just... They go so thick. Then it ends up sticking to the top. But that's like... That's the gnaw chicken soup. That's our... The Irish chicken soup. You can't have chicken soup in America, but can you get our chicken soup? Massive. We use like if you use freeze dry all your fruit and vegetables and stuff, you can make up your own packets. Butter. Spoon. My son is asking me can I stick on the kettle? Yes, can you stick on the kettle? Because as an Irish mommy from Dublin, we all love tea and we all put tea in the kids' bottles when they're small. The British used to call it a bottle of tea. Another bottle of tea. Don't need much. Just a dip of a tea bag and a bit of milk and a little bit of sugar or honey or whatever. So the onions have gone milky and high. Lower them down. Get yourself a tablespoon or a teaspoon of butter. But it's more like a tablespoon of butter. And put it into the onions. Flop in there. Right. That's my favourite word. Just flop all the time. Bit of salt. You don't need to sprinkle it just for taste. We can do a bit. This is the white pepper. That's the white pepper. And this black pepper. I'm gonna put black pepper in it. Give it a little bit of kick. And then we're just gonna leave that on low. Yummy Friday. I mean if you love getting your takeaway on Friday, have your takeaway on Friday, have it tomorrow, you can just make it in the fridge. Or if you have your takeaway on Saturday, have this on a Friday, then have it for your lunch on a Saturday, and then get your takeaway. So that is done. That's thick. That's like super thick. 
and then I'm going to add the cheese to it and watch what happens, right? Just leave that in there. And you can add some milk to it if it gets too thick, but the cheese goes into the soup, melts, and you'll see the colour change. If you're using mild cheddar, you won't really see much of a change in colour. Most cheeses are dyed. They all come out like a whitish, yellowish colour. Most cheeses are dyed. It's to give you that perception of yumminess. So I'm going to add this whole little block of cheese. It's actually... Blind I am. Oh, 200 grams of cheese. There you go. That much. David, would you get me some milk milk, please? With milk or cream, you know, just just use it. You don't have to have Philadelphia. I just love the cream cheese. I think it adds an amazing texture to a lot of things. And it brings kind of, you know, heavy flavours down if your kids are a bit awkward. Right? So that's like super thick. Like super thick. So I'm going to add a little bit of milk. Like 100 ml. So all together, liquid wise, would be 400 ml. So 300 ml of water and 100 ml of milk. And you just slowly stir that until it soaks up all that cheese. Look at that, yummy. So I'm gonna stir this here for a few minutes. I'm gonna add that pod in. If you don't have a pod like that, you don't have to add it in, or you can get Philadelphia garlic and herb. You can use a McDonald's sour cream if you want to give it a little bit of a pang. But I have this left here and it has to be used, so I'm gonna use it. And then I'm gonna put them all together. Let's get it done. all in the tray and stuff it. So in the tray I keep these separate and the kids can have them on top or you can just put them on top or mix them in between makes no difference. I just like the bacon that they're like gone super 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 crispy. So we're going to pour this out with tray. Onions are done. They're gone super goldy and they're delicious. Wipe down the little bit of the surf area because it made a mess with the chicken soup. Yep, that's, that's what you do as a mother. I'm going to empty that in here. And you can be very good and just plop it all in at once. But I like to get an even layer. And see why. Oh, look at me. Ooh, pop. There we go. Go in here. Yummy. Loads of different things you can do with pasta. Great this. I know you're a piece of pasta stuck on my cooker. Give it in. I'll just chew with them. Up. Get up. Crispy. Oh. Yummy. Then we're gonna go like that. The pasta is very full. Like seriously full. I know I'm very quiet today. Wash. 
busy day, driving on over to shop. Yeah. And then there's a little bowl left. I'd have that. And then sprinkle your onions on top. Shake it off. Basically like, um, you know like French onion soup, that's the way you kind of want your onions to be. Because it gives that flavour, it's just perfect for it. Yeah. We'll leave the bacon, they can put the bacon on themselves. If you have some mozzarella cheese or any other types of cheese that you want to put on top, it doesn't need lots of cheeses. The chicken soup kind of gives you that flavour. So, I had this that I got in the least up the road. And I do just a little bit. It doesn't have to be lots. It's just to give it a bit of crispy on top. In the oven, 20 minutes, done. Or you can just heat up the pasta in a bowl and add the bits on it if you just want something quick and handy.